It's a vacation for four. We're going to Toronto uh, visiting our family for the holidays. The Khan family is just one of seven million plus who will fly numbers that are just shy of pre-pandemic levels, according to AAA. But this year, couple that with what climate experts are calling one of the worst pre-Christmas storms in decades. What we found out is that uh, we're staying overnight in Denver and it's going to be uh, a 40-year low temperature in Denver tonight. From there, the dangerous temperatures with snow, freezing rain, and biting wind expected will wall up the Midwest, eventually moving east. The worst of it tomorrow and Friday. It'll create treacherous conditions that'll have a ripple effect for travel. Everyone's stressed. Everyone's stressed. Pilots are stressed. Crew is stressed. Passengers are stressed. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Beth Cornell is from Pennsylvania. She's stopping in Portland first. Thankful she's not flying towards the storm tonight. She'll go home after Christmas. I'm flying out and taking a red eye out of Portland. I may get stuck in Chicago, but I don't really think so. Think positively. As far as parking at SFO, it appears reservations are sold out through the holiday weekend. We say it every year, but that is a sign it is going to be very busy. Give yourself extra time to get to your gate. At SFO, Giovang, NBC, Bay Area News.